I ended up at Baylor, and at the end of my sophomore year, my father said, you know, you, you really should get a major. And um, I said, well, what would I study? And so that summer, uh, we spent a day with a lawyer, an accountant, a banker, and a realtor. And I liked the real estate guy. His name was Mr. Mosley, Mark Mosley. And I really liked what he did. And I think it was the entrepreneurial nature of what he was doing, maybe a little more than just real estate. It was just entrepreneurial. I went back to Baylor and sure enough, that year they started a real estate major. So I went into the business school the, uh, and got a marketing degree with a specialization in real estate and insurance. I was asked when I was 22 years old uh, and I was renting an apartment driving a Volkswagen Beetle uh, by someone why they should hire me. And my answer was um, because I'm a professional. I said, I'd like to tell you what that is. And a professional is somebody who knows what they know and knows what they don't know and knows the difference between the two. So when I know, I'll tell you. When I don't know, I'll go find out, which means you'll always get the right answer. And I think that in the end is the professional side of our industry. Probably the thing that I've learned from my real estate career is that you fail your way to success. What we fail to understand is that everybody fails. Everybody fails. And in fact, highly successful people usually have more failure than people that aren't as successful. So the difference that I learned between people that succeed at a high level and people that don't is that the people that succeed at a high level learn from their failures, get up, and get going. On one side, there is a business model that is very people-centric. It's very real estate agent-centric, and then asking the agent to be very consumer-centric. There's a, a philosophy built inside this organization that people matter and that you should build an organization around people and succeed with them. Then there's another reason, and that is and I say this in, in all humility uh, because I am the person behind all of this and I don't give up. And I've been underestimated a lot in my life. Um, but in the end, I want our firm to be successful. I want the people in our firm to be incredibly successful. And I'm not gonna stop till I die. And I'm not leaving the industry and going and doing other things. I'm gonna stay right here and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm happy to go to my grave with my tombstone saying he was a realtor.